Welcome to the Recon Trader. In today's video, I will show you how to configure and deploy an automated crypto trading bot designed to take advantage of pullbacks in the market like we've recently seen. And the strategy is my RSI crossing strategy. Now I will be configuring and deploying this strategy using the Mudrex platform. Now if you're not familiar with Mudrex, they are a platform that allows you to build and deploy your own algo based crypto trading bot strategies on your own exchange. So you don't actually ever send money to Mudrex, you just connect to the platform via your API keys and your money stays on your exchange and they just send trades on your behalf. So your money is as secure as it can be when it's on an exchange. Now you can get started for $0 absolutely free. I will leave a link down in the description below. If you utilize that link in the description down below, you'll get a $25 sign up bonus and you could apply that sign up bonus to the premium membership, which is $16 a month. And if you sign up for this membership, you actually get a one month free trial on top of that. Now, the biggest benefit to the premium membership is the unlimited back testing. And I will tell you, it doesn't take long when you're doing your recon to use up your hundred back test a month on the free account and if you plan on doing any real amount of recon you will get your money's worth out of that $16 investment now that's enough jaw jacking let's get to configuring the bot now from the strategies page you will want to actually add a new strategy so you just click on that button and today we're going to create a new strategy so I want to use the visual editor and that will take you to the visual editor dashboard and all you need to do is drag and click blocks and then connect those blocks to these buttons in order to build out your automated crypto trading bot. And in this case, I'm going to need a couple blocks for the indicator that I'll be using today is RSI. And then I need a couple compare boxes as well, which I will be comparing the EMA and if you don't know what the EMA is, it's basically a moving average indicator. And next, I'm going to need a couple of the AND blocks, as my strategy does require both the indicator and the compare box in order to execute a buy. Next, I'm going to connect my two AND blocks by simply dragging and clicking the arrows over to the buy and sell buttons. And then I will connect the indicator and compare boxes to the and block and I suppose before I get too far into the weeds I should give this strategy a name and it's going to be RSI 4070 bull so let's get back to configuring this strategy I'm going to start with the first block is my indicator block and I just need to type in the actual indicator I'm looking for and that's going to be RSI and the period is going to be nine. And then as far as the compare option, I want the RSI crossing up through the 40 value. And then under the advanced parameters, the moving average type I want to be EMA. And I click OK. Next, I need to configure the compare block. And this is going to be EMA compared to price. And I want the EMA to be less than the close price. Now, the idea behind this block is to act as confirmation that the price is moving up. And then the parameters, the EMA period is going to be 40 and advanced parameters are all set. I click OK. Now, I need to configure what these blocks are going to actually do. And I want them to open long positions and that's it. And now we're on to the sell side. So for the sell side on the indicator is going to be RSI again. Now, if you're not familiar with the RSI indicator, it measures oversold and overbought. And so on the buy side, when we see a big sell off, that's considered oversold. And then on the sell side, when we see a big run up, that's considered overbought. And for most of my strategies, I want to be buying when everyone is selling and I want to be selling when everyone is buying. So we select RSI. The time period is going to be nine. And again, I want to compare the RSI. And in this case, I want it to be greater than 
70. And the advanced parameters, the moving average for this side is actually going to be an SMA. Now, if you're not familiar with EMA versus SMA, RSI, go do your recon. I will have videos in the future that break those down as well. So again, shoot that subscribe button so you don't miss those videos. Okay, now we need to configure the compare box, but I'm going to cheat because it's very similar to the compare box that I have up here. So I'm actually going to hit this little double window and duplicate my compare box. I'll delete this one. And click and drag and connect. And the only real difference here is the period is going to be 70 instead of 40. And I need this to be greater than. And I can click OK. And so now I have all my boxes configured. They're connected to my AND boxes, which are connected to my buy and sell buttons. Now I've done my recon, so I'm going to configure the take profit box. And that is going to have a setting of 18 with a trailing limit of three. And what that basically means is once the profit has reached 18%, it will allow it to retrace back 3% before it actually closes the position. Now, if it retraces 2% and then continues up to 25%, then it would wait for the retracement of 3% from that 25% to close the position. So I click OK. Now we can configure the stop loss box and I am going to use 9% on this particular strategy and click OK. And now I'm ready to back test. Now before we jump into the back test and the results, I want to stress that this video is designed as a how to configure not how to copy my strategy. You need to do your recon and figure out based on your risk tolerance what strategy would work best for you. Now, let's click back test. And I forgot to save, so it saved my strategy for me by clicking back test. And now we'll click back test again. I'm gonna run this on the Binance Exchange, USDT as my quote currency, and ETH as my base currency. And why do I choose that currency? Because I've done a ton of back testing and I happen to know that it performs best with this strategy so far. And we will test the strategy on the 15 minute tick interval. And so we hit start back test. And you'll see the back test has started down below and this will take a moment. All right, the back test is complete and it looks like the monthly average returns would be around 13%. And loss making months would be around 36%, almost 37%. But I'm more interested in the more detailed results, this little actions box, if I click on it, will actually give me. Now you see some longer term results from August 2019 to February 2021. I actually designed this strategy for this particular type of bull market. And during this longer time frame, we haven't been in that type of bull market. And I'm going to click on the 3M and that will break it down to the last three months, which is what this bot was actually designed for. And my fees, since this bot will be deployed on Binance, my fees will only be 0.075 as I pay my fees in the BNB token. And now I'll hit recalculate. And for the last three months, my average monthly return would be 41.75. You can see my performance score improved dramatically. My sharp ratio is well above the acceptable level of one. Uh, two is considered good. I'm at almost six. Profit factor, which is essentially your gross profits divided by your gross losses. Again, anything over one is considered acceptable. I would prefer to see this closer to three or four, but at this point, it is good. Now, my overall returns of 265% would actually be outperforming the market if you had just bought and held. You'd only be up 217%. So again, for all of you who say, why bother trading? Just buy and hold. I would be up almost 50% more by trading than you are buying and holding. My win streak is three and my losing streak is five. Now this is one of those situations if your personality cannot stand five losses in a row, 
This bot might not be for you. The good news is my max drawdown is only 16% and I typically shoot for a number around 25% and I'm well below that. Now, total trades, 48. You will actually see about 15 trades a month, which is about double what my typical bot will see. Uh, trades won, I only won 45%, 46%. So with having a good risk versus reward ratio, I don't have to be right very often to be profitable. And then my largest losing trade was 8% and my largest winning trade would be 23%. Now, if we scroll down, you can see that the solid purple line would be your strategy outperforming the dotted line, which is the market. And anytime you can outperform the market, you are winning the battle. And we keep scrolling down and you'll see the actual transactions. The bot would be in a position at the moment as we've seen the market sell off and slowly start to rebound. The largest losing trade is this 8.77%. And that is from that huge dump. We just saw Bitcoin dump like $10,000 in three hours. And this bot managed to survive with just a flesh wound of a just about 9% loss. But for the most part, our wins are substantially bigger than the smaller losses. Now, if you're curious what this strategy actually looks like on a chart, you can click on Prograph. And so you can see from the chart where we actually enter a position and end up exiting the position. You can add your indicators, the EMAs and the RSIs. And you can see what triggers your entry, the crossing up over the levels we set in the bot. And then the price runs up. And when it rolls over and crosses back down below, that triggers the sell side for a decent profit in this particular trade. All right, now we'll jump back over to the visual editor. Now I am going to make a change to this bot and I do not recommend anyone do this unless you're an elite trader and you completely understand the risk of not having a stop loss. So I'm gonna shut the stop loss off and I will run a new back test. So I click on back test and we'll shoot the start back test button and run a second back test this time without the stop loss. And again, do not recommend this unless you are an elite trader and you're gonna monitor your bots live like I do throughout the day. Well, that's my safety, sir. All right, so the back test is finished and we have monthly average returns of five and a quarter, so it jumped 2%. Our loss making months were the same. Our performance score actually went up from five to six, but I'm more interested in the details of how this bot performed. And again, I'm going to click on the three month period, input the correct fee, click recalculate, and the results have improved to 317 versus, I believe it was 265, 265. So that's about a 50% bump just by letting the indicators doing their work and not getting in their way. The sharp ratio bumped up over six, which is where I'd like to see that. That profit factor, as I mentioned before, I prefer it at three while well, I'm at that three level. Now it's important to understand, I designed these strategies around my risk tolerance. And I'm guessing that is going to be extremely different from your risk tolerance. So I highly recommend you don't copy my strategies. Just use them as a template to configure your own strategy. My risk versus reward ratio improved and I saw two less trades, but again, most of my strategies are gonna see fewer trades. The max drawdowns 18.73% versus 16. So my max drawdown went up, which is perfectly fine by me. I can tolerate those drawdowns. Losing streaks still five, winning streaks still three. Average exposure time is just about a day and a half. I think that's the same. Yep, pretty much the same when we had the stop loss. And market returns stay the same, obviously, because it's going to be the same whether you have a stop loss deployed or not. However, the strategy outperformed the market of just buying and holding by 100%. That is why elite traders trade and don't just buy and hold. Don't get me wrong. I have long-term hold BTC and ETH that I bought back in 2017. It's on a Trezor in a safe. But there is a portion of my portfolio that I use for trading because I know I can get better returns than the market. And if we scroll on down, take a look, 
at the transactions and you see the losses are going to be a little bit bigger. And so in the long run, this strategy is winning the battle. So let's get it deployed. So we jump back over to the visual editor page, click on live trades. All right, before we do that, I heard a bunch of you scream, what about BNB or BTC? We'll run BTC on the 15 minute time frame and run a back test. All right, so the back test on BTC is finished and it just underperforms. I've run a back test on most of the coins I would be willing to trade. Now I don't trade crap coins i won't trade bch xrp so i don't even bother back testing those but i've back tested ada i hold ada long term in storage it just does not perform as well as eth so if you want to run through all these coins and do the back testing on say bnb that might work out but i know what i'm getting when i trade eth as i day trade eth it's on my screens all day long i know it's price action i know how it behaves so I'm going to deploy this bot on ETH. So let's get to it. So I click on live trades. And before I deploy this live, for a lot of you, I recommend deploy the bot via the paper trades first and see how it performs and confirm that it will perform the way you want it to perform. But with that being said, I'm deploying this to live fire. So live trades, Binance, USDT, not LTC. ETH on the 15 minute tick interval, start live trade. I need to select my API key. I will give the bot 500 USDT in ammo. Click next and the bot is live and waiting to engage its first target. And that pretty much wraps it up. I'll be doing update videos on how this bot is performing. So be sure to shoot that subscribe button. If you have any questions or comments, leave those in the comment section down below. I will leave a link to Mudrex in the description down below. And if you like this video, do me a favor, spike a like. And until next time, remember, never send your money into battle without first doing your recon. See you in the next video.